list. This one's one of my favorite kanji. This one means money, gold, or my favorite day of the week, Friday. So remember, this one almost looks like a little house with a little eye in the middle and the two lines. And there you have either money, gold, or Friday. They all kind of mean the same thing. The Japanese pronunciation for this kanji is king. So remember, this little house looking one, gold, money, Friday, three great things in your life. Remember it. Maybe your company decides to send you to Japan on business. Japan is the third largest economy in the world. So this kanji here is the symbol for company or corporation or firm. So just no notice how there's a little house thing going on here with a line, another line, and then it swivels, boom, line. And then you've got this little symbol here with a little eye at the bottom with the base. This means kaisha in Japanese, and it's the symbol for company, corporation, or firm. So this is an important kanji for you to learn anytime you end up going to Japan. And it's two set of kanji. And if you notice, it's almost like the symbol you learned a little while ago uh, for gold or money or Friday. So it's pretty much the same symbol mixed in with this symbol here, which almost looks like the food symbol almost. And then at the bottom here, it could be read up and down or left to right. Remember that. Um, you have what looks like a T and almost like a J. So if you see this kanji combination, it means bank. And the Japanese call it ginko. So remember, this one means bank. So another thing you might need to do when you're in Japan, maybe you're visiting, maybe you're living in Japan, you might need to visit the post office. So this is probably the harder one you're going to learn, but not really because it's the only one in the lesson that has three Japanese kanji. There's this one. Almost looks like a B on the side of that thing. That looks like a T. That almost looks kind of difficult, but you know you can manage. And then there's a third one here, and it's pronounced in Japanese "yu bin kyoku," and that means post office. So if you remember this set of Japanese kanji, you can kind of remember that it means post office. So this is the last one, number 25, the 25th kanji that you're required to remember, and it is the kanji for hospital. Definitely one you want to recognize in case you get sick or you get hurt and you're in Japan. So this is the symbol for hospital. Notice there's these little, you know, these little lines here and then you go down, it almost looks like a B. And there's that line and then this line here, there you go. It's pronounced Bioin in Japanese and this is the kanji for hospital. So go ahead and try to remember that set of kanji. Take the test and remember you want to score at least 85%. So, Good luck.